Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to today's video. Today is Sunday, December 28th. I believe I think it's the 28th. And, uh, well, let's get right into it. Shazam! All right. Now that we got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Matt Weaver. Uh, I am an appliance repairman by trade. And folks around here call me Captain Marvel, for obvious reasons. Uh, the implements of destruction in today's shave are going to be... Gold Dollar, Straight Razor, 6 eighths round, uh, honed by Mr. Billy T. Um, the soap today is going to be this guy right here. Tiki Exotic Sandalwood uh, that was graciously, kindly, and graciously sent to me by CDB, Chris Bailey. Uh, see the brush today. Samog 1305. And I think the aftershave I'm gonna to use today with this uh, since the scent of this is uh, more on the woodsy, spicy side, I'm going to go with Hogalala Bay Rum, Sage, and Cedar. So, we'll just load the brush up here. Really like Tiki Bar soaps. Soaps. Um, I've tried a couple of samples and I own the Fougere scent and now uh, this one. I'm going to load it up pretty good here. A little more wouldn't hurt. Uh, before I get too far into it, I want to mention two things. The shave ridge today. Right here. Elijah Craig, 12-year-old bourbon. On the rock. Served in my Glencairn bourbon glass. And my shave shirt. Those who think they know everything annoy those of us who do. That was one of my Christmas presents from my beautiful fiance, Michelle. And I just happen to be one of those people. <laughs> All right, I think we got a pretty decent load on that brush. Uh, one of the other things that I use during my straight razor shave, it's not really a product. I, I mean, I apply it to my face sometimes, but uh, as any beginner straight razor shaver should know, the Allen block, uh, it helps you get grip. Uh, you know, soap is slick, uh, so you need some grip to be able to stretch your skin. And I just dropped my straight razor. I promise that's my first bourbon today. All right, so got my brush loaded, got my razor, got my shave ridge, very important. Uh, have a little sip here. If you haven't tried that Elijah Craig 12 year old, give it a whirl. Uh, for 32 to $35, you really can't beat it. It's just fantastic stuff. So, I'm going to wet my face, and we'll get right to it.
Need a little bit more water. She's dry. not getting a real good lather out of this so I'm gonna put a little more soap on the brush shave routine today as always a hot shower today I used Neutrogena men invigorating face wash got a little menthol in it I like that uh, and I listen some tunes like I always do on these day off weekend shaves and today I listen to Soundgarden bad motor finger all right now since this side of my face, the uh, beard grows horizontally, I'm going to do my first pass like this. But only on that side of my face. Where's my towel? Here it is. Hope everybody's having a nice weekend out there. Out there in TV land. All right, and the first pass on my left cheek. Uh, it's gonna be down until I get to my jawline. Really good video I watched out there. For you beginners, that my buddy Ray Pope did the other day. Uh, so look him up on YouTube, uh, Ray Pope. Uh, he's got a really good two part video for beginners.
And also check out the stallion. Anthony Esposito is doing a really, really cool, generous piff uh, involving two brand new or gently, lightly, lightly, lightly used uh, straight razors that were honed by Mr. Lynn Abrams from Straight Razor Designs. So check out Anthony too. He's on the YouTubes and the face pages. Elijah Craig is really good. Did I mention that? <laughs> and this video is going to be a little bit longer than my previous videos. Because I was finally able to figure out how to get my account verified at YouTube so I can upload uh, videos that are longer than 15 minutes. All right. Decent first pass. Not great, but decent. It was very nice, very nice. Very good stuff. All right, I call this the Jimi Hendrix pass because you go behind the back, uh, and I have to do that to go against the grain this way. But since I got a little time to kill, I may do a an across the grain pass.
Sorry if I'm getting a little boring here. I'm not chatting a whole lot. I'm trying to focus here. dogs out there causing trouble <laughs> daddy's busy all right that's pretty good I may try to get some against the grain touch-ups here. So I'm going to squeeze what's left of this lather out. Smear it on the old noggin. Haven't gotten this soap dialed in, obviously being my first use on it, because uh, the lather is subpar, to say the least. Uh, and that is odd for Amanda's soaps. Let me get a little bit more here. Maybe I loaded it too dry, I don't know. All right, we'll see if that does a little bit better here. I'm not calling myself an innovator or anything like that, but I have noticed a lot more booze being featured in your Shave a Day photos. So, keep it up, gentlemen. Captain Marvel approves. Jimmy Hendrix pass. We'll call that good. Got <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, boys. I got a little nick right there. Which is just uh, an old wound that I didn't let heal properly, and I just reopened it, basically. All right, I'm just cleaning up my gold data here a little bit. 
That's what you gotta say it too. You gotta say Goda. Or you could say it like the Chinese do. Godara. <laughs> Since they made the blade, right? Mm. All right. So, let me rinse his face off and, and we'll get you some final thoughts. Thoughts on the soap? I don't know if you can hear that or not, but my skin's really squeaky. Squeaky clean. Mm. Uh, lather was definitely subpar. Uh, but I don't know if that's the soap's fault or if it's my fault. I've always had a little bit of trouble lathering. Uh, I started out bowl lathering and had a horrible time with it and decided, fuck this, I'm gonna start face lathering. Uh, and was able to dial in pretty good with uh, various number of soaps. Uh, but this one, uh, I had a tough time with. Scent was really nice. Uh, I guess I'm used to sweet sandalwoods, uh, so, uh, it's a little different. It's woodsy, spicy, uh, definitely not bad. Um, there's an old little nick. Uh, so I will bust out the Clubman styptic pencil. And that should take care of that. Uh, razor, you can't beat a Billy T gold dollar for in terms of price to performance ratio. Uh, I think he sells a brand spanking new gold dollar that was honed by himself uh, for 23 bucks. So you can't beat it. And this little guy right here, $13 leather strap that also has a cloth strap to it. It's not, not kangaroo or litigo or some shit like that, but it's functional and it gets the job done. So if you're new to straight razor shaving, give Billy T, Bill Tugranis, uh, a look up on Facebook. The booze is excellent as always. I might give myself a little bit of a rub down with the Allen block here. Just real quick because this stuff, if I leave it on too long, irritates my skin. So, finish up, Ogallala Bay Rum Sandalwood, or uh, Bay Rum Sage and Cedar. Uh, the sandalwood flavor from Ogallala is significantly more sweet uh, than this Sage and Cedar here. Uh, so I think it'll actually pair better than the sandalwood scent uh, with this exotic sandalwood. Here it is. Exotic sandalwood scented tiki bar soap. 
Uh, so I'll just splash a little bit of that on and we'll call it a day. I wasn't calling for a freaking steel or a, a, a double steel there. I was <laughs> just kind of actually getting some of that scent onto my clothing. All right, there we have it, ladies and germs. Gold data. And you got to say it like that. Gold data. Tiki Bar Soap, Exotic Sandalwood, Samogue 1305 Boar Brush, Ogalala or Ogalala, Bay Rum Sage and Cedar Aftershave, Alum Block, Shave Ridge was Elijah Craig, 12 year old bourbon. So until next time, America, Captain Marvel, Matt Weaver, your friendly neighborhood blind repair man, saying happy shaving.